We all know that insulin is important in diabetes. And we also know in type 2 diabetes, which there is an epidemic of now, we, insulin levels are quite high, much higher than they are in the type 1 diabetics who run out of insulin and much higher than they are in normal people. And this is because there's something called insulin resistance. When you have insulin resistance, we have assumed that the high levels of insulin are what cause the problem uh, that are associated with people who have the so-called uh, metabolic syndrome. Now, studies have been done uh, by the people from the Jocelyn Clinic that were published in a journal called Arteriosclerosis, Thrombosis, and Vascular Biology in March of, of 2012. And what they found was is that hyperinsulinemia, or high levels of insulin, uh, are associated with insulin resistance for sure, but they're not a cause of atherosclerosis. That means heart attacks, strokes, and other vascular problems by itself. This is a game changer in a lot of ways because we've assumed that when you have high levels of insulin, there was a direct relationship between those high levels and the things that followed. And some of the things that followed from that were hypertension, rise in triglyceride levels, uh, people having a higher incidence of cancer, heart attacks and strokes, and also of obesity. And the thinking was that the high levels of, of insulin themselves cause these effects on the cells, and that's what resulted in the problems. Now that we know from the study that you have to have other factors that are associated uh, with heart disease or with arteriosclerosis, uh, besides a high level of insulin, again, it's a game changer because it means we can safely add levels of insulin now to people who have diabetes and uh, type 2 diabetes when their drugs aren't holding or their lifestyle isn't solving the problem. And it's not the disaster that was predicted a few years ago by so many people who were uh, diabetes experts. Now, what we're finding is that insulin resistance is not a good thing because it means that our insulin isn't doing the job that we'd like to see it to do to maintain control over our blood sugar levels. And when you see that, in endothelial cells, which are the, the, the cells of blood vessels that uh, are involved with the development of the arteriosclerotic plaque, uh, insulin resistance only in endothelial cells can cause this atherosclerotic change. And what we're finding is that the insulin itself uh, is focusing on, or what we should be trying to accomplish, is to focus on improving insulin signaling in vascular cells rather than just blocking uh, the insulin effect that uh, is in the cells that the body is responding to. So we now have more information, thanks to the people of the Jocelyn Clinic, that shows that insulin by itself is not the sole factor. And once again, we have a synergy between those factors that put us at risk for having heart attacks and strokes and high insulin levels that result in the damage that we see so much in type 2 diabetes.